If you are thinking about going to pharmacy school anytime soon, I am more than sure that you have had the thought of when you should start applying to pharmacy school. And if you hang on one quick second, I can show you how you can turn that thought into a real quick action. Hello, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics, and I'm coming to you today with another video about when you should start applying to pharmacy school. But before we start, you know how we do. I love to create dialogue. So right now, I need my pharmacy prospects to go down to the comment section right now. Comment, when do you think you should start applying to school? My practicing pharmacists, my veterans, my interns. When did you start applying to school and how much time did you give yourself to meet those deadlines for the particular schools in which you were applying to? Stop this video right now, go down to the comment section and comment your thoughts. I'm just going to give it to you straight because we spit the real over here at Pharmacy Basics. Applying to pharmacy school can be a complete drag. This is where my tip about... Who'd you jump <laughs> I do not even have a video about planning and time management and I'm talking about it. I am the one, the one. To apply to pharmacy school, well, first you need to know what school you're planning to apply to. Next week, I will have a video in part two explaining where you should apply. So make sure that you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when that video is to come out. Now, after choosing the pharmacy school in which you plan to apply to, I would then go to the pharmacy school's website, search admissions, and usually this page will have all the information about the requirements that are needed to get into the pharmacy school and the many deadlines that they have for submitting applications. That's the easy part. The hard part is having the requirements that are needed to get into the pharmacy program. Most, if not all, schools have different requirements, but that's what makes the schools unique, and that's what makes it easier for you to choose the school that best fits you. Now I will get into some of the prerequisites that are almost guaranteed for all pharmacy schools. But if you watch Tuesday's tip, you know that you do not need a bachelor's degree or a master's degree to get into a pharmacy program. You just need to take those prerequisites, which are the required courses. So as said, it is almost guaranteed that you will need general biology one and two with the labs. You will need general chemistry one and two with the labs. You will need anatomy and physiology with the labs, or you can take A and P together with the labs and that will count. At some schools, they take that, some schools do not. It all depends on where you're applying to. You will also need organic chemistry one and two with the labs. You will need a macro or a microeconomics class. Calculus, Statistics, English Composition 1 and 2, some form of a communication course, three courses of humanities, which are your histories, and about two courses of your social behavior sciences, which is like your sociology or psychology. Depending on the school, they may require more or less courses, and that, guys, will factor into how long it will take you and probably when you should apply to pharmacy school. An ideal time for you to start applying to pharmacy school will be when you've gotten your coins together, when you have taken the PCAT, if that is required for that pharmacy school, and when you have finished about 80% of your coursework. So that means you'll have, a, what, at least a semester and a half left. Now I will discuss a few questions that you all probably will have, or if you have not had that question, I'm pretty sure it's going to come up sooner or later. So must you take the prerequisites at the pharmacy school's undergraduate program or university? No, you can take them at any school that offers the courses. For example, I went to a university in Louisiana that had a college of pharmacy on campus. I chose to go to that school because I thought it would increase my chances of getting into the pharmacy school, and that is not always the case. The next question people ask is, do you have to take these courses at a university? And that is a no. You can take these courses at any school that offers them. It could be a community college, it can be online, it can be anything. If they have the course, you can take it there. I actually recommend going to a community college to take these courses because it is the shorter and the cheaper route. 
This is the last question that I think you all may have. Do you have to take all of your prerequisites at one school? The answer to that is no. That is such a no. To be honest, if I had to take all my courses at one school, I wouldn't be a pharmacist right now. I've taken courses online at at least six different universities. As long as your primary school will accept the transfer credit, then you are good to go. Guys, this is your journey. No one can tell you when, where, and how you should take these courses. At the end of the day, you are paying for this. So you need to be in control of your future. So my pharmacy prospects, was this information helpful to you? If so, give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified about any further videos I have to come throughout the week. My pharmacy veterans, my interns, and my practicing pharmacists, did I miss anything that you feel that I should have included in this video? Make sure that you comment down below. Again, this is Dr. Elena Martell with Pharmacy Basis. I hope that you all have a busy and blissful day.